I'll admit, it's kind of surprising how hard the Ultimate Warriors are having a hard time dealing with Karibo. I just keep seeing a lot of cards that keep breaking the strategies of the deck, like I'll run... So Ryan Captains and Creel will be like, oh, I've got, you know, Tribute to the Doomed in my hand, so BOOM! So my block gets broken instantly before I can do anything with it. It's bloody annoying, man. Okay, we'll activate that. Then we'll set this. Then I'll play Upstart Goblin, see if we can't draw a Marauding Captain, maybe. Not the best card, but I can set that and hopefully, you know, buy time for now. I'm hoping, you know, we don't see Giant Soldier Stone as the first move here. Probably not, he's taking out Mystical Space Typhoon. Yeah, Gear for the Iron Knight, okay, I can work with that. Yeah, I'm gonna activate the effect of Gravity Bind. No attack for you. After I don't want to lose my um, ultimate baseball warrior right now. Boom, we'll summon you in attack position. We'll activate Swords of Revealing Light just to get out of the hand, because, you know, why not? You know, assuming you know, Kriwa drew a remove trap, I want a way to actually deal with it. Okay, that's gonna help us buy time, but I still need to draw a DNA Transplant to really get this deck going. Oh, cool, we can play this as well. Level limit area B. Just, you know, limit those moves. I don't care if that's in, a t in defense position. It's not my main attacker anyway. Of course, I have no idea what he's gonna draw. Okay, we want to set DNA Transplant. When we lose that, I'm not sure what I want to do. Of course, if he plays Giant Soldier Stone right now, I could probably run it over nicely. It's fine. Problem is, I don't know what all he has set. And that back row scares me at this point, because there's so many cards on it. fire. Switch you to defense position. After all, this has got, got, you know, a big power up going for it. Um, attack or can actually get around the effects of this card. I'm somewhat scared because of that, because, you know, I could royally screw myself. Though Gravity Vine will still work whether they're in attack position or not. It doesn't care about it. So at least this way, you know, I can get stuff in attack mode. Of course, that does mean Morphing Jar and stuff are now stuck in it, too. Even if they can't actually attack. Okay, apparently didn't have anything up, down right now that could screw with my attack hitting into a monster. Okay. But yeah, Snatch and Steal, that's my question. Bring back a monster ain't the best idea right now. Okay, you're gonna sacrifice it. Gotcha. Okay, I wanted to get Ojama token, actually. As with final attack orders, we can force something into attack position to really ram them hard. Okay, battle phase. Let's, um, target this monster. As we can force it into attack position, just ram it. And, you know, win that way. Okay, the question is, is Snatch and Steel coming? Because if he manages to snatch and steal my ultimate baseball kid, this is going to be bad. Ugh, I'm going to have to destroy my own monster. Ugh, I can't fill the entire field here with that. I'm going to have to take out my own baseball kid. After losing most of my life points to all my own cards. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm hoping I can draw a Mystical Space Typhoon. If not, I'm gonna have to blow it up. Uh, which means this duel could go on for who knows how long. Because I don't have a new way to get a hand out there. Yeah, I will. Boom. 
have a call of the haunted either, so... I now find myself in the unenviable position of needing to draw a card that will actually help me win. And I don't know when that's gonna happen. And for all I know, by the time I find that card, you know, Creepo's gonna have set, you know, magical cylinders, so as soon as I go for the winning blow, I'm gonna get screwed. Come on. Well, I can set that for a protection move, I suppose. Like, I just need to draw something that'll let me to attack, man. Well, this doesn't say any more cards. I assume if he had a magic cylinder, he would have played it already. Well, we could attack with Marauding Captain. Can't use its effect, but screw it. We can do 1600 points of damage attack. There is that. Plus burn damage. Like, I'll take what I can get at this point. After all, I only need to attack, you know, one more time to win this match. I mean, we saw the power of the Ultimate Warrior, it just got turned against us. And that sucked. What was the point of that? It can't attack, it's just, you know, locking down the field. And I don't care if you lock down the field, man. Because it means nothing to me. Okay. Right into this thing. Plus, it means he can't set, you know, Magic Cylinder. Because <sighs> he's got the entire back row filled with who knows what. I'm assuming it was cards made of... Well, I guess we are never going to know, but I do have to be curious about it. But yeah, having Ultimate Baseball Kid turned against me is the one thing that really drives me nuts with this deck. Because if you lose it... It's going to probably have really jacked up stats, and your opponent can potentially, you know, turn around and try and go for an OTK of their own. Just ugly. You know, hopefully you avoid that fate, but if it does happen, you know, it just sucks. <sighs> Until next time, then. See ya.